When Yi introduced the original 4K action camera, it turned out to be a serious GoPro Hero 4 Black rival that cost considerably less money. Now Yi have squeezed yet more performance from their flagship camera, and the result beats the competition yet again with their latest model, the Yi 4K+. Plus. Yi's follow-up 4K Plus action camera follows a very similar template to the original 4K, but upgrades its capabilities with 4K video at 60 frames per second, which is a first for action cameras. Add to the inclusion of electronic image stabilization, even when capturing at 4K resolutions, and that makes the 4K Plus a pretty impressive package. On the face of it, if you've used the Yi 4K, you'll feel right at home with this 4K+. Plus. It looks and feels almost identical. Even the dimensions are the same as the older model, measuring in at 65 by 42 by 30 millimeters. Other than some slightly simpler branding on the front, printed on the carbon fiber-like patterning, it's hard to tell the two models apart. The lens and small status LED finish off the front of the unit, again both in identical locations. On the back is that signature 2.19 inch touch screen used for framing your shots and navigating the menus. Coated in Gorilla Glass, it'll easily survive the odd knock or bump without worry. The bottom is also pretty much untouched with a useful metal tripod mount, as well as a sliding door revealing a cavity for the included battery, which is the same size as the previous version, so any spare batteries for the original camera will be usable perfectly fine here, as well as the micro SD card slot. The top houses the single button on the entire device, used for powering the camera as well as starting and stopping capture, while one of the microphone pinholes moves to the side of the unit. On the opposite side we have a new addition, a USB-C port for charging and faster data transfer, which is a welcome upgrade from the micro USB connection used on the standard 4K. This USB-C port can also now be used for connecting an external microphone for better audio capture, another welcome addition. The lack of any included mounts is a slight annoyance though, as is the fact that the camera is not waterproof in its naked form. You do receive a waterproof housing in the package, which adds bulk and hinders audio capture, but as the camera is the same size and shape as its predecessor, any mounts you may have amassed will be compatible with the 4K+. The other annoyance with the waterproof case is that you'll need to pop it open to change any settings using the touch screen, which can obviously be risky if you're in or around water. I would have preferred a capacitive back door or a membrane so I could change settings in and around water with ease. Talking of using the camera, the touch screen is still your primary way of interacting with the 4K+, Plus, aside from the single shutter button at the top. The menu system is identical to the previous 4K action camera too, so if you've used that before you'll feel right at home here. There's no big evolution like the change from the GoPro Hero 4 to the Hero 5. LEDs on the front and back make it obvious when the camera is recording, and it all works as and how the original camera did, with swiping gestures providing access to change different settings. The retina display is just as sharp and impressive as the original, and the capacitive screen means no harsh pressing. The slightest of taps are accurate and responsive. The wireless control with the accompanying app is still there too, dual band Wi-Fi in fact, meaning you can toggle between the superior range of the 2.4GHz or the faster transfer speed of the 5GHz, and I had no issues with either. Here we can preview with some lag, as well as change settings and all the usual stuff, all working wonderfully well and as reliable as its predecessor. No issues there at all. In terms of resolutions and frame rates, just like the original Yi 4K, you can still get up to 120 frames per second at 1080p and 240 frames per second at 720. The big game changer is the camera now tops out at 4K resolution at 60 frames per second, which is so far unprecedented in an action camera. Even if you don't plan on playing back your footage at such high frame rates, it gives you the flexibility for more dramatic, slower motion footage while still maintaining 4K. And this is all thanks to an Amberella H2 SoC processor, which allows for up to 120 megabits per second video. Yi claims it delivers faster processing speeds but requires less power than its predecessor. The 4K Plus also includes a Sony IMX377 12 megapixel image sensor, which is the same as before. Image stabilization also makes an appearance at 4K30. Of course, this isn't a patch on the optical stabilization from Sony's cameras, for instance, but it's better than nothing considering 4K stabilization is not even an option with the GoPro Hero 5. 
As you can imagine, all this means video quality is an improvement over the previous year 4K thanks to the higher bitrate. Captured footage is crisp and sharp and colours are vibrant, especially if you opt for the year colour profile that pushes the saturation slightly. Still images are similarly well exposed with sharp, detailed photos when there's lots of light available. As with all action cameras, you begin to see more noise under lower lighting conditions, but nothing out of the ordinary. The lens distortion correction also makes it less obvious shots are taken on an action camera with a wide angle lens. The camera managed about 80 minutes while recording 4K video at 30, whereas 60 frames per second dropped it closer to the 60 minute mark, thanks to the new Amberella chipset, and that's not bad considering all of the processing involved. Recording in 1080p puts you closer towards 2 hours of continuous video capture, similar to its predecessor. Charging through USB-C takes about an hour, which is good, and as mentioned, you can always carry spare batteries with you. So, is this a GoPro killer? Well, no, not really. Yes, the feature set is mighty impressive and yeah, firmly made a name for themselves, but the GoPro brand is still way too dominant in the action camera market. That doesn't necessarily make it a better camera, but it's the go-to brand for most. The 4K Plus action camera builds upon the impressive foundations of the original Yi 4K, and even though it costs more, it's still cheaper than a flagship GoPro. Certainly, 4K at 60 frames per second is an impressive feat, and puts all other action cameras in the shade. Captured quality is very impressive for both images and video, and coupled with that impressive retina screen and great menu system, the only downsides are the lack of built-in waterproofing, and the lack of mounts included in the box. If you can see past the GoPro brand, the Yi 4K Plus action camera is a very capable alternative if you can work around some of its shortcomings. If you're in the market for a powerful, high-end action camera, the 4K Plus should certainly be on the shortlist.